Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for yet another weapon review. And uh, with today's reset comes Iron Banner. And with Iron Banner, we have the reintroduction of an old weapon. Kremble's Dagger, which I'm very excited for. Uh, at the point that I had started playing this game and had a Kremble's Dagger, I was not yet into hand cannons as much as I am now. So I'm very excited to discuss this review. And with that being said, let's take a look over together on D2 Foundry and talk about what potential roles you could be looking for. Okay, so here we are. We have D2 Foundry open. And uh, the first thing we're going to notice, of course, as is with most weapons that come back, we now have an origin trait being Skulking Wolf. Pretty interesting trait. While at low health, Guardian Final Blows with this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from opposing radar. With this being a primary, that should be very interesting. But also, I'm a fan of the Hake Breach Aramids. This weapon deals increased damage against vehicles and constructs. And constructs include barricades, turrets, stasis crystals, and other objects created in a field. Passively grants increased damage against vehicles by 15%. Turrets, barricades, Word of Dawn, Well of Radiance. So if you're trying to shoot the sword from a Well of Radiance, you'll get an increased 30% damage. Uh, as well as stasis crystals, you'll have an added 45% damage against stasis crystals. Now, if we're taking a look over at column three and column four perk slots, let's start with column three. So we have Enlightened Action, Slideways, Air Trigger, Strategist, Moving Target, and Outlaw. It took me a few moments to really figure out which one I personally preferred in the third slot. Moving Target is fantastic as it does grant 10 aim assist and uh, reduces your ADS movement penalty by 10%. Very good for strafing. There's, of course, the classic Outlaw, which precision kills uh, greatly decrease reload time. But I think that the one that's really capturing my attention here is going to be Slideways, which I typically wouldn't recommend, but hear me out on this one. Sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability. So let's take a look at the community research section. Sliding refills 15% of the magazine and grants 25 stability and 20 handling for three seconds. Buff duration cannot be refreshed. Buff duration also serves as a cooldown for magazine refills. Uh, but this can be bypassed by stowing the weapon. Mostly, my playstyle involves a lot of sliding, so chances are this is going to be up and active quite often. So what would I like to pair with Slideways? Well, let's take a look at fourth column perks. We'll discuss those perks and then what I'd like to pair with Slideways. So in fourth column perks, of course, we have Kill Clip, which personally, I don't find it to be quite relevant since the changes. We have Explosive Payload, which is always a great option. Certainly, if you want to flinch your target, we have Zen Moment, which is a very good option as well. Opening shot, always a great option to choose. Adagio may not be the best choice, certainly on a 120 hand cannon and further slowing your RPM down even further. So Precision Instrument mostly became popular when it was dropped with Igneous Hammer. Now, at the point that it had dropped, a lot of people weren't really recommending Precision Instrument that much, but once we started to use it, we found that it can consistently three tap a Guardian, whether you're an overshielded Titan or a Warlock in an, a Well or a Frost Armored Hunter. Okay, and for my preferred role, I'm gonna be going with Fluted Barrel, Accurized Rounds, Slideways, and Precision Instrument going to be going with a stability masterwork and there's a reason for this so bare bones without anything active this is the stat package that we have we get 70 range which falls to 36.45 meters we have 46 stability and 46 handling 120s traditionally suffer in the area of stability and handling in favor of range so my goal here is to see exactly how we can buff those two stats. And that's where Slideways comes in handy. Let's take a look at the enhanced version of this. So once enhanced, nothing too fancy, but the stat bonuses that Slideways provides when enhanced is increased by five. So if I'm sliding all over the place quite consistently, let's see what sort of a stat buff we receive. Now, all of a sudden we have 70 range, which is the very same. However, stability at 71 and handling at 71. And that is absolutely insane. 
Take into account that we have enhanced precision instrument and the enhanced version precision damage buff is increased by 20%. I do not yet have my preferred role for Criminal's Dagger, so for the time being and for the gameplay footage that you're about to see, I'll be using an enhanced moving target and precision instrument role. Uh, this would have been a handling masterwork coming with tactical mag and small bore. If you found any value in this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing for more videos in the future. Cheers, Guardians. the lead. That was a clean three tap. Need more of those. No way.
Five minutes left. That was 110 damage. Gameplay footage. The victory was yours. Laws alone. If only you had a motive for murder. And that's it. The criminal's dagger. <laughs>